if f of x and y is equal to, so you have your function, which is x y divided by x squared plus y squared. Does a limit exist? Does the limit of x y divided by x squared plus y squared while x and y approaches the origin exist? Very well. So we're going to follow our steps. Step one. Check to see if you plug in zero and zero into the function, it gives you a valuable information. Remember that the domain of the function doesn't include zero and zero. So if you plug in zero and zero, you get zero divided by zero, which is in the indeterminate form. So we have to move on to the next step. Step two, can I simplify this function? X, Y divided by X squared plus Y squared. We cannot simplify this function. It's not like our first example that we can find the conjugate of the denominator or conjugate of the numerator and simplify the function. So what are we going to do? We're going to choose a path, a general path, simplify the function, get rid of one of the variables, try to analyze the outcome. So here you have f of x and y, which is x, y divided by x squared plus y squared. Let us choose one of these general paths that helps us to simplify this function. Again, I'm going to stick to mx. I'm not going to choose mx squared because on the denominator, if I choose mx squared, I get mx to the fourth. So my x goes to the fourth power. It doesn't help me to simplify this function. So let us work with the general path y equals to mx to simplify the function. We're getting closer and closer to the origin and this path actually passes through the origin with different values of m. We get different lines, different paths passing through the origin. So in this case, you get the limit of x times mx divided by x squared plus mx squared. And note that you don't have any y left. There is no y in this new function. It only depends on x. Where does x go? x goes to zero. So here you have the limit of mx squared divided by x squared plus m squared. x squared while x goes to zero. So we have the limit of, if I factor out m squared, if I factor out just x squared, here I have mx squared divided by x squared, one plus m squared, while x goes to zero. Of course, I can simplify this. I get x squared cancel out. And here you have the limit of, well, m divided by one plus m squared and x goes to zero. This is just a constant, m divided by one plus m squared. What's the meaning of that? It means that you can plug in different values for your m. It means that the limit depends on m. It has contradiction to the uniqueness of the limit. By plugging different values for your m, you get different numbers for your l. So the limit doesn't exist. 